What's up, Skywatchers? What is up indeed? September 25th, 2024. We have a lot to cover today, but first we're going to start with Hurricane Helene. This monster is picking up steam with sustained winds of 120 miles an hour and gusts up to 150 miles an hour. Florida, you can expect storm surges of 5 to 8 feet. As this hurricane brushed past the Yucatan Peninsula, it dumped more than 30 inches of rain. And now, this monster of a storm is expected to cause widespread flooding in Tennessee from Chattanooga to Nashville. Guys, I hope you're prepared. Have a plan. Now. You should also be prepared for tornadoes all along the path of Monster Helene. Okay guys, I'll be monitoring this storm and watching for EM pulses and sustained electron beams pumping energy into this. And I'll share that information as quickly as possible. Be safe. So I've recently talked about the forming La Nina and how we can expect to see even more flooding across the world and the slow to form polar vortex. I think we'll see many apocalyptic weather events. We know they have harnessed nature's power and turned it into a weapon. All right, guys, this could be a big deal. Shippers scramble ahead of looming U.S. East Coast port strike. Economists estimate the strikes could reduce payroll growth by 100,000 jobs if prolonged. The last four years, I've watched as America and the Western world lost many small businesses, closing their doors as big corporations moved in and swallowed up small town America. That was very sad to see. Watching the One World Order take over and the birth of smart cities and the acceptance of bio-digital convergence, we need to dismantle these agendas, resist the Great Reset. Are you losing sleep? I'm hearing this in many conversations. So here's what we know. The controllers of all this technology crank up the next rads in the overnight hours, ionizing the atmosphere, exposing you and I to electromagnetic radiation. This has many harmful health effects, and one of them is disturbed sleep cycles. The United States has many particle accelerators, including Fermi Lab in Batavia, Illinois, Oak Ridge, Tennessee, Berkeley, California has several of these accelerators. Every time they turn these things on, it fills the atmosphere full of radiation. This then reacts with stratospheric and tropospheric aerosols and is responsible for creating unprecedented heat waves. This also has effects on human behavior and cognitive function. I do talk a lot about Nexrads having similar capabilities. I just want you to be aware that there are many tools in their arsenal. SBX, Harp, IceCat, the South Pole Station, Nexrad, Superdarn, Gwen and 5G Towers, extremely low and high frequency transmitters, just to name a few. And they're showing off their electromagnetic technology and calling it climate change. All right, on to Earth's new moon. It is arriving on September 29th in just a couple days, and it is expected to depart on November 25th. You know, smart space rocks come in for a visit, and then they leave. I never buy the official story. I've seen too much with my own eyes. Get your cameras ready. I want to see your photos. All right, guys, it's time for shout outs. Paul A., Maddie G. Barr. Tilly and Jen for always sharing critical information. And I'd also like to thank Pam Baker, Peter Bastian, Susan Adams, and someone for buying me a coffee. Thank you guys. Now don't be shy, I need your help. Hit that thumbs up, share these videos, and I also need your support, make these videos daily. So please check out my links on YouTube in the description box and the about section and Facebook in the comments. Much love and many thanks. Okay, my friends, until next time, stay aware, be prepared, and keep looking up.